this is Cynthia with Bliss Home and Garden. Today we get to talk about this giant chalkboard. It's a DIY project that I did a while back and I actually designed these lemons with my daughters. And so we're gonna talk about chalkboard things. It measures five feet wide and six feet tall. It's actually bigger than me. It's a pretty, pretty big, big design. Um, as you can see, I will show you actually how we made this to see if maybe you can get inspired to do something really cool. But mostly this is a follow-up so that you can see how the chalk paint is holding up. These lemons are the fourth design that goes on this chalkboard. One of my siblings and I created this bee. Um, and I thought it's really, really good work. Actually, if you want to see a little reel of it, you can see it on my Instagram page. And I do have how I made the whole blackboard um, on another video that I will put in the description below. But today is the day that we're actually going to erase it and start over with a new design. Because the idea was that I was going to um, make different designs with different people for different seasons. So I told my daughter to wrap a Dollar Tree eraser and go ahead and get started erasing it but it was so difficult to get it started i mean that was such a pretty pretty design and uh well it had to get done if we wanted to do anything else ever again whoa we started noticing chalk particles flying everywhere and so we knew this was going to be one messy business I love these silly ladies and I'm so glad they're home from college so that I can enjoy this design for a few months before I decide to change my mind. But uh, we also had a lot of cleaning to do. So there was a lot of vacuuming in between cleaning and even making it. Um, right here, I'm adding water to the parts of the bee that were traced a little bit more um, stern, I guess, firmly. And so it was like a harder trace. And so I did that with water. But anytime that you put water on the board you have to re-cure it so on the original video you'll watch how to cure it from the beginning or whatever but you do have to make sure that in order for it to be erasable it needs to have a coat of, of uh, chalk so this is what it looked like after that and uh, then i went ahead and said ladies let's get tracing and so here's alexa and she's starting with the first lemon if you notice she's looking at her phone because we got this off of the internet um i don't know we looked at pinterest and all kinds of places to get ideas Mom. you have to trust the process because it doesn't really look like much at the beginning but just have faith that everything will work out this is Nayeli and she's actually working on the um, flower of that lemon in the far left hand corner and um, it really turned out pretty I love how it worked out in the end Don't be afraid of making mistakes and sometimes you'll have to go back and erase things and start over and just have patience and fun with it. You know, put some little music. I uh, like to make a very basic color um, at the beginning. So I just start with very basic colors like yellows, the, the colors that come with the chalk set, right? And then I go back in with my finger and I start smoothing things out and I start getting a, like a different vision for it, a little bit more artistic. Um, so that's like a different level. There's a layer, right? So you start at the beginning with your tracing, then maybe you add some more details. You hold the chalk different ways, whether you want it to be like uh, the stronger lines or whether you want it to be a softer feel and then you can go back after that and add some shadows to give it more dimension so you kind of go back and forth as often as you want until you have the desired look that you want um, here you see the petals you know I kind of smooth them out and then you'll see that I start adding some shadows after and then later I went back and added like a pink so you can kind of just go you know, step farther away and look at it and add color. Another thing with uh, chalk is that there's not that many colors in the set that you buy, right? So because you're limited, another way you could cre get creative is by mixing colors. So one of the things that I tend to do is 
on the chalk itself, or I'm sorry, on the chalkboard itself, I will put like maybe uh, two different colors and blend them in. So we know that from color theory that blue and yellow make green. So I put the blue and the yellow together and I started blending to get a different kind of green because I just needed more depth into my um, artwork. And so I just blended and blended and tried and tried until I had different greens and different layers. And I wasn't afraid to like go back and forth. And it didn't feel like a waste of time. It really feels actually pretty therapeutic. And, um, and I love it. It's it's really endless possibilities. I mean, this board is awesome. Now, another little thing that I use kind of towards the end of my design is I go back with a pencil and I give more depth with like kind of lifting off the color and letting the black come through kind of like you have use white as a as a tracing uh, color black is also one of those things that adds depth quite quickly and so I go through a lot of uh, erasers from the back of pencils to kind of achieve this but it really works and it just gives you like another dimension to your art piece so if you ever use this hopefully this tip will really help you out um, I really love this part because it starts making everything look um, a little bit more defined and I really like it a lot more messy business because you will have chalk all over the place all over your baseboards all over the ledge but to me it is so worth it we just keep a vacuum nearby and whatever any ideas of what could go up next on this blackboard I really want to hear about it so I was thinking maybe some coffees or something like that would be nice of course for Christmas I might want to do something Christmassy but if you like go to a restaurant or anywhere that ha might have like really cool idea or you see artwork that's like giant and it has a lot of color you know I could be up for a challenge too so if you have an idea put that in the comments below I would love to hear what those are. If you love this video, guys, make sure that you give it a thumbs up for any of the YouTubers that you love, the way that you really support them is by giving them the thumbs up and making the comments and all of that. It really does help us as creators. And as always, I'm going to tell you guys that you can create bliss at home and in the garden. See you next time.